so Sage, is, is Stefanski going to be Kubiak's boss, or or how does this work? Because cl- clearly Gary comes in with an, an assistant head coach title and advisor role. He's been around for, uh, for a long time and is a great resource for Kevin to uh, to tap into. But how do you think the dynamics of that work? Well, Kevin Stefanski is the coordinator. Uh, I firmly believe that. He's going to be the guy running the show, making the final decisions. He's going to be the guy calling the plays. I mean, it's his offense. Uh, you know, I think as a young coach, as a young coordinator, you can never have, uh, you know, really too much experience sort of helping you out. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I really do see, you know, Gary Kubiak as, as an advisor, uh, almost a consultant, a coach that can get the fun. He's so detailed, uh, you know, with that zone running scheme and, and with that play action. Again, this is something that Kirk Cousins was sort of raised in in the NFL when he was in Washington with Mike Shanahan, with Kyle Shanahan, you know, that style of offense. Shoot, Sean McVay uh, was on that staff as well. So I think that the detail of that zone running scheme uh, and that play action and the bootleg stuff, that is going to be, you know, little things that probably, you know, Stefanski hasn't learned in the past uh, that they could really add to this offense. So uh, the great thing about it is, and I've worked with Kevin, I've known Kevin for a long time. Again, he was our quality control guy on that 2009 team. I know Gary Kubiak for a long time. These are two guys that have, do not have the big egos. Uh, they don't have the, the situation where this is my, uh, you know, they don't, they don't have the power play mentality. These guys are going to work very, very well together. I cannot imagine there being any sort of rift uh, or, or any sort of power play uh, you know, with, with Kubiak wanting to be you know, the coordinator and being controlled. This is Kevin Stefanski's offense. And I think Gary Kubiak is really excited to help out because this is a good football team and they got to get the right offense going because uh, obviously they didn't have the right one, at least for the first 13 games of the season last year. I was just going to say to you, Sage, with, with a guy as accomplished as Gary, as Gary Kubiak, and you have Rick Dennison in there who has a lot of experience and has earned his stripes in this league, and we're talking about a first-time offensive coordinator in Stefanski, I, I, I assume that egos would get in the way and there would be a power struggle or maybe a, a too-many-cooks-in-the-kitchen syndrome, but it doesn't sound like you think that that will be an issue with this particular group of guys and their personalities. No, not at all. I mean, this is not like a Todd Haley, you know, <laughs> Hugh Jackson situation. That was great that fun, Sage. Do, which was a, <laughs> right? I mean, that's like the opposite of what we're talking about here. And I listen, I, I've been I, uh, interviewing people throughout the last couple of days here at the Combine, and, and, you know, Kubiak's name comes up regularly when we're talking about, you know, this Vikings offense. And it's amazing the respect that people have for him. I was talking to Mark Vandermeer, who's the voice of uh, uh, the voice of the Houston Texans earlier. He absolutely just loves Gary Kubiak like a brother. I mean, one of the one of the, the nicest guy, you know, sort of salt of the earth uh, type of coach. And you don't see that in coaching college pros. You don't always see you know those type of men, real men, uh, who you just love and respect and trust uh, on your you know, as, as coaches. There's just not a ton of them it seems like nowadays. And and it, both he and Kevin Stefanski are those types of guys that uh, I, I think they're going to work really, really well together. I think they're going to be respecting both sides. And the way I sort of look at it uh, is sort of like when Sean McVay went to the L.A. Rams and hired Wade Phillips to be his defensive coordinator. Uh, you know, there, you can have that great experience to a guy who's young in his position as the head coach. Who I sort of feel like that with Kevin Stefanski. You had a young guy, coordinator, first-time coordinator. You know, how great of a resource is it to have a veteran in the room who's been doing this thing for 30 years? 